Hello there, my name is Erica Irvin. Thank you so much for joining in. Today I'm talking about something that is near and dear to my heart and it's yin yoga. So um, I wanna just kinda throw this out there at you real quick, tell you the difference between a yin and yang yoga and then I wanna tell you some facets and some really important points of yin yoga that you need to focus on when you're doing your practice of yin and I hope that you are. I'm telling you, if you are doing um, movement yoga, just flowing with the breath, then you've got to be doing yin. If you are an athlete or a runner, you've got to be doing yin, guys. It's just the balance of it all. So think of it this way. In the morning, you wake up, you're kind of yin. Then day gets a roll and the day gets roll and then it's yang, yang, yang. You're moving, you, you got building this heat in your body. And then towards the end of the day, you start to bring it down again. All right, so we've got to have that balance, right? We can't go all day hard without sleep at night. So it's kind of the same thing. You can't have yin or yang without yin. So check this out. These are some really important parts and I want you to take this to heart when you're doing it. Um, first of all, I want to read you this quote that I found. I love it. You ready? We don't use our body to get into a pose. We use the pose to get into our body. And I tell you, this has changed my life. I have learned so much more about myself. I have been so much more successful in the past year of doing yen with my business, with my home life than I have been in five years. And it's because it's causing me to be still and really learn about me and who I am. All right, write it down. Especially if you're doing yen, you've got to, got to, got to get this. So you always wanna come into the pose at the appropriate death. I almost said death, <laughs> not good, depth, all right? So basically, it's kind of think of it as like Goldilocks and the three bears. Now what does that have to do with yin? Everything. So she walks into the little hut house, was it a log cabin? That's not important. She walks into the bear's house and she tries the, I, this is the story, right? The papa bear porridge is too hot, mama bear porridge is too cold, baby bear porridge is just right. Something like that. That's kind of how yin is. You don't want to be too deep, right? But you don't want to feel burning in fire. But you also don't want to be too shallow in the pose and not feel anything at all because then that's more of a restorative yoga than a yin yoga. And um, you want to be just right. You want to be playing your edge, all right? Everybody's edge is different. Um, so, when you are getting into these poses, you're going to be using props also. So getting into an appropriate depth also means that um, you are not so much hanging because our bodies don't like to hang and we're gonna engage muscles if we hang. And we're trying to release all muscles. So use your props to help you get to the appropriate depth so that you're not also hanging. Because again, the really important thing about yen is that we're not using the muscles so we can hit the fascia. We can and gently stress, and the stress is a good word because you cannot elongate fascia. You stress it. You can elongate muscles and make them longer, but not fascia and tendons and um, all that good stuff, all right, and ligaments. So we say a gentle stress. That's why you have to release the, um, the um, muscles. And a great way to do that, you guys, is by the breath. Just take that big inhale. Exhale everything in your lungs, release that area that's nice and tight. Okay, moving on to number two. Once you find that appropriate depth, I need you to resolve to be still, unless you need to get deeper into it or unless you need to come out of it. Resolve to be still and when you come out of it, if you don't know the appropriate counter pose, I guarantee you your body is gonna tell you exactly what to do, so listen to it. Number three. We're gonna hold the pose for an amount of time. So instead of breaths, holding the pose for two, three, five, ten breaths, we're gonna hold it for an amount of time and that time looks different for everybody. When I first started, I was doing a swan, which is a pigeon in yang yoga. I was doing a swan. I could only stay in it for about a minute and a half. Now, if I, when I have the time, I could stay in it one side, I guarantee for 30 minutes. It's amazing and um, you'll find yourself just getting deeper and deeper. You'll start to become more flexible. Things around you will start to slow down a little bit. It, it, the whole experience is just amazing. So that is really kind of the main important parts. I am just making sure that I did not forget anything in my little notes. 
So keep in mind that this is all about stillness. Um, and I think, I feel, I feel the times are changing. I think that this universe, this world, the people in this world, we want to slow down. Stress is killing us, literally killing us right? And um, we're going, going, going so fast. Busy has become a way of life. We forget who we are. And when we forget who we are, we cannot truly serve people around us. We cannot be the best version of a parent or a spouse or a whatever. We cannot be that best version of ourselves. So slow down, take it down a notch. Even if it's five minutes a day, just take it down a notch introduce yin into your life. Um, so I'm doing this video because it's also going to be included into a um, little program that I'm putting together. I put it together for a friend. He's the captain of a yacht and he has back issues. And he reached out to me and I said, you know what? If you have back issues, and I know that these exercises, or not exercises, but asanas and poses can help you, then I'm sure there's other people out there that want it as well. So that's where this is leading. I'm creating that for him, and I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in a little PDF and send it out to my mailing list also. You can't, you're not gonna be able to get on social media. You're actually gonna have to sign up on my mailing list because I don't, um, I, I do a lot of my stuff. If you're, if you're on my list already, you know. I do most of my stuff, all the good juicy stuff, I give you through email, all right? So, I hope this helped you. I hope it at least got you excited to try some yin. I mean, even if you ask Uncle Google what is yin, hey, that's another step forward. But, so to get a little deeper into this and to get that program for your low back, I need you to go to, you can go to my website, yourfitnessgirl.com, and click on the link that says the three-day juice cleanse. I'm gonna send that to you, and then when I get all this written up, I'm gonna send you the, um, the, the program for Yen for the Low Back. All right, you guys, have a wonderful rest of your day. I will see you lady, later. Share this video with anybody that's ever talked to you about being too busy, or maybe their body's hurting and it used to not hurt, because stuff happens as you get older. We know that, you get little kinks here and there. So, all right guys, thank you so much. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Bye.